हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा सी सेट मेड इजी एंड अफोर्डेबल वेलकम टू आवर डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस एंड कॉन्सेप्ट्स काइंडली जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन आवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सपोज यू हैव सफिशिएंट अमाउंट ऑफ रुपी करेंसी इन थ्री डिनोमिनेशंस वन रुपी टेन रुपीस एंड फिफ्टी रुपीस In how many different ways can you pay a bill of one not seven rupees? This question is asked in two thousand nineteen. This question is from algebra chapter, real life application oriented question, my friends. Okay, easy question. Now you have sufficient amount of rupee currency in three denominations. What does this sentence mean? Is say you want to pay the bill one not seven rupees in one rupee coins, then you need one not seven coins, my friends. So you have sufficient number of coins, and uh, the shop owner will be dead by counting them. Okay, this is what this sentence means: sufficient amount of rupee currency in three denominations, not just one rupee, my friends. We have sufficient number of ten uh, rupees and fifty uh, rupees denominations also. Clear, right? Now let's look at the number of ways we can pay the bill, my friends. Now the first case is I am taking maximum number of fifty rupees denominations, my friends. We have one not seven rupees. So how many fifty rupees we can take maximum two fifty rupees, my friends? Okay. Now can we take ten rupees here? No, my friends, because we just need seven more rupees. So fifty rupee notes, two in number, and a one rupee coins, seven in number, my friends. That is a one not seven. So this is one way of paying the bill using two fifty rupees notes. Is there any other way, my friends? No. This is the only one way to pay the bill when we have two fifty rupees notes. See here, we are fixing one thing that is number of fifty rupees coins and looking at all possibilities, my friends. Okay. So this is one possibility. Now another case when we have one fifty rupees notes, my friends. Okay. So fifty into one. Now I'm using maximum ten rupees notes to pay the bill. How many ten rupees notes I can use, my friends? Five. Ten into five, fifty. So fifty plus fifty, hundred. Now one rupee coins, seven in number. This is a one not seven. So this is one way. Now another case, we have one fifty rupees notes. This is fixed, my friends. Using this, we are looking at all possibilities. Now I want to use four ten rupees notes. Okay. Now in this case I would be needing seventeen one rupees coins, my friends. Okay. This is another way. Similarly, when we use three ten rupees notes, we need twenty seven one rupee coins, my friends. When we use two ten rupees notes, we need thirty seven one rupee coins. Okay. Similarly, one ten rupee note we need forty seven one rupee coins. And uh, when we don't use any ten rupees notes, in that case we need. Fifty-seven one rupee coins, my friends. So in this case, you can pay the bill in six ways, my friends. Clear, right? Now the next case is when we don't use any fifty rupees notes. Now in this case, I want to use maximum number of ten rupees notes. How many I can use? Okay, ten ten rupees notes and uh, seven one rupee coins, my friends. Okay, one not seven. Now I want to use nine ten rupees notes. In this case, we'll be using seventeen one rupees coins, my friends. Okay, so this is one not seven. So similarly, like this, one ten rupee note and a ninety seven one rupee coins, my friends. Okay, this is a one not seven. Now I don't want to use any ten rupee notes, so I need a one not seven one rupee denominations, my friends. One not seven one rupee coins. So you know the shop owner will be dead by then. So how many? One two ten plus this one, my friends. Okay, eleven ways in this case you can pay the bill. Now what should be our answer? When we have two fifty rupees notes, we can pay the bill in one way. When we have one fifty rupee note. We can pay the bill in six ways. When we don't have any fifty rupee notes, then we can pay the bill in eleven ways. So this is a eighteen, my friends. So our answer is C. Very easy problem, my friends. Just approach step by step. Hang on one denomination. Fix that. By fixing that, just look at number of ways you can pay the bill. Here I have fixed fifty rupees denominations. That would make my life easier. So when we have two fifty rupees notes, how many ways? When we have one fifty rupee notes, how many ways? When we don't have any fifty rupees notes, how many ways, my friends? Okay, this is how you have to solve the problem step by step. 
Now answer this question. Number of solutions to 50h plus 10y plus z is equal to 107 where x, y, z are integers. They can be 0 or greater than 0 my friends. Okay. They are integers. The answer is same my friends. Okay. We will be having 18 number of solutions to this equation. Here x, y and z are number of points or nodes you need to make 107. Now tell me what is the maximum value of x? 250 rupees denominations my friends okay maximum we can have 250 rupees notes and the minimum value would be zero no 50 rupees notes now tell me what is the maximum value of i 10 my friends okay we can have 10 10 rupees notes and the minimum zero and the what about z maximum 107 minimum seven coins my friends clear right so this is just other way of looking at this problem my friends